once you guys get in here, uh, go ahead and put something in the in the chat. Let me know you guys are in here so I can make sure that this is broadcasting everywhere it needs to be at so we can get this show on the road. What's going on with you guys? It's been a while. I don't know who the Facebook user is because you must not be, you know, you don't have StreamYard, but what's going on, man? How you guys doing? I'm glad y'all still uh, still rocking with me a little bit. It's been a long time. Been a long time. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Roy, how you doing, fam? I appreciate you for coming into the building. Appreciate y'all for uh, letting me have a, let me have a session with you real quick. I'm not going to be before you long like the pastor always says. <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm definitely uh let me see somebody's having some issues posting some comments i'm definitely excited to get this going when you come in here when you come in go ahead and post exactly where you are where you are right now where you're coming in from i want to make sure that i'm reaching everybody i need to reach if you're on Facebook, let me know you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, IG, let me know where you're coming from. Also, let me know the state that you're in. I'm trying to see, uh, trying to see how they're spreading my information around here. Y'all know Facebook likes to limit it, brother. Oh yeah, and go ahead and leave a like too. If you if you're watching this, I see seven people are in the building. If you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you at, go ahead and leave a like if you guys can. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get this underway, guys. We're here to talk about Dispute Beasts, my new DIY software. Well, it's not new anymore, but it's gonna be new to you guys, uh, and it's gonna be new to the industry. And this this software is going to rock the industry. And I'm gonna actually show you guys, unlike other software owners or other other software pitchers, sellers, whatever they are, I'm gonna show you guys what the difference is with this software, why we created it. And uh, what we aim to do with this particular software. And today won't be the only day I do this. I'm probably going to go live about three times a week, just for 30 minutes. Just take a little bit out of my day, go live for 30 minutes so I can answer you guys' questions about this software. Roy from Cali. Roy, where are you from in Cali, bro? Where are you from in California? A lot of you guys get up in here and be shy, but Roy come in here and announce himself. I like that. Don't be shy, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Inglewood. All right, my man. All right, you're right around the corner from my old stomping grounds, bro. I appreciate you coming in, man. They ain't gentrified you up out of there yet. Raymond from San Fran. Courtney from Houston. Appreciate you guys, man, on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. And I, I don't know, PS, PS Pearl is in Ontario. So the funny thing is, is I was born and raised in Downey, Compton, Linwood area, and then moved out to uh, Rancho Cucamonga, dude. So I know both Ontario and Inglewood hyper well. So y'all y'all basically extend the family. That's what's up. <laughs> Roy said they ain't got rid of y'all yet. Light bulb eater is from Idaho. Idaho, they got your boy in Idaho? That's, that's what's up. Ten toes. Central PA, you rocking with the Eagles, Beatrice, or nah? We ain't. Are, are we bird gang together, or what? What we doing? I don't know who that Facebook user is, but they're coming in from Houston. Facebook been giving Streamyard some hell. What I wanna, what I wanna ask you guys is before we, before we really get into it, before I start talking at you, I wanna make sure that I address anything that you wanna know off the rip about the Dispute B software. Are you guys even in the market to repair your credit? Are you guys looking to? Uh, get your credit profile in better condition through the means of disputing with the credit bureaus to remove negative information from your credit file. If not, this might be a boring live for you. There we go, Beatrice. Bird game, baby. Bleed green. That's what it is. Raised and lived in Linwood, K through 10. Linwood in the building. Don't too many people know about Linwood, but when you see that water tower, you know what it is. Okay, cool. Do you guys have any questions for me about this DIY software? Because this is the way the credit industry is going, you guys. Okay, The credit industry is going away from full service credit repair because there's some things in full service credit repair that people don't tell you so they can continue to collect your money. And I'm going I'm to lift the veil up from over you guys' eyes. I'm going to give you guys all the nasty truth about full service credit repair, about DIY credit repair. We're going to get we're really going to get into this today. 
So before I start talking at you guys, before I start going down my bullet points of information, I want to make sure that I address what you guys want to know before you get up out of here. Marsha Jones, that's what's up. Okay, cool. So Raymond, Roy, Marsha, Yolanda, Beatrice, in the market for repairing your own credit. And see, the, the real reason why DIY credit repair became so popular is number one, you're only going to pay for what you actually have to pay for for the service. So for instance, let me let you know like the way my credit, my full service credit repair program works. In order for life to be made easy for me and in order for me to follow the, you know, CROA, which is the Credit Repair Organizations Act, I can't charge you a flat fee for credit repair. So anybody who's charging you a flat fee for credit repair is not only robbing you, but they're actually going against the laws and the rules and regulations that are set for us, the credit repair professionals, to have to follow in order to make sure that we don't screw you, number one. Number two, in order for me to not have to manually bill everybody every month for what I'm actually charging you for, the service plus whatever it is that I'm going to charge you for, for actually doing the service, I have to basically make sure I have a billing plan set up. So whether I'm sending one letter on your behalf or 100 letters on your behalf, I charge everybody the same thing. Most credit repair professionals who are following a crawl pretty much do the same thing. Now, this means that you might be paying me $200 a month to send just a couple of letters, or you might be paying me $200 a month to send a gang of letters, and I'm actually losing money on you. But for me, the professional that actually evens out. And that's the way most businesses operate, right? They operate in a way where they can service the public in general, and everything kind of evens out to make them a small profit. No problem, Courtney. I appreciate you, love. Um, so the way this works is... Credit repair companies started having a hard time dealing with people because the bureaus weren't operating properly. The bureaus weren't reading the credit, uh, weren't reading the credit letters that were uh, the dispute letters that were coming through. They weren't doing the dispute uh, investigations like they were supposed to be doing the dispute investigations. And people are paying people like me a couple hundred bucks, three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars a month. In some cases, like a thousand dollars for crazy services. And we all have the same limited power, which is we got to create your letters send them off to the credit bureaus and hope to God they do the investigations that they're supposed to do. But what happens when that doesn't happen? What happens when you get sent out stall letters month after month after month and you continue to pay for the service, you continue to pay for the credit monitoring and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And not only are things on your credit report not changing because they don't always change and it's not always supposed to change, but your issues aren't even being addressed and dealt with properly. You get frustrated and then you quit the service. That's what the bureaus are hoping for. That's what was starting to happen. People were starting to file chargebacks on people like me and other credit repair professionals because they don't think that we're doing the job properly or doing it at all. And in some cases, some people weren't. So what a lot of people started doing is coming up with their own credit repair kits and they'll sell you the kit and let you do your own damn credit repair. But then that became too difficult, too arduous of a task because you still have to figure out how to fill out these dispute letters. Which letters do I send? You have to educate yourself on the credit repair process. So then as AI started to roll out, people got smart. Developers got smart. We're going to make services that will create the dispute letters for you. And all you need to do is check a few boxes here and there. Amazing idea, right? Well, not really. Because then what started happening is you started getting a watered down version of credit repair being sold to people on the basis that we're going to help you dispute the information that you need to dispute. But then what they're not telling you is that we're only going to give you a few disputes a month. We're only going to give you one dispute a month. Whose credit repair can get repaired like that? We're only going to address the top three credit bureaus. We're only going to address TransUnion or, you know, whatever the case may be. There were so many different DIY products that came on the market all at once. We're going to go over a few of them here today. Um, let me see. You know, you seem to never respond. Are you that busy? I ain't going to lie to you, Hitman. <laughs> I got over 300,000 followers on Facebook alone, bro. Instagram, I got 100,000 followers. TikTok, 240-some thousand. YouTube, now 100,000 subscribers. I'm getting messages from every single platform. And everybody wants my time for free. So I'll tell you like I tell everybody else, bro. I charge for my time, man. As simple as that, though. I, I charge for my time. If you think I can go through hundreds of messages every single day, continue to be a good husband, a good father, and also run my businesses at the same time, I can't do that, bro. 
So I have a lot of a lot of times on my schedule for people who really do need my help and are willing to pay for that time. Other than that, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I put out my free videos. I put out my free content. And if that can't get you where you need to be, then, man, I'm not going to lie to you. You got to pay for it. You got to pay for the time. And if anybody else is not running their life like that, they're going to be broke and out of a family and out of a home, out of a business very shortly. So I get it. I am that busy, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I coach my son's teams. I deal with my daughter's gymnastics teams. And I like to hang out with my wife, man. So it kind of is what it is. But and then I also create services like Dispute Beast so that you guys can continue to utilize the services without needing to get to me. But we'll get to more of that in a second. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the dominant DIY credit repair softwares out there, what they offer in comparison to what we've created with Dispute Beast and how you decide to choose which one you want to rock with. So before I move forward, does anybody have any questions in regards to what I've said so far? Let me see, Deborah. I wasn't able to post. Great to see you back. Yes, yeah, good to see you too, love. I appreciate you guys. Uh, <laughs> Light bulb just said, I go crazy being that busy. Um, <laughs> you guys can't see my schedule behind me, but I'm going to show you guys what my calendar looks like on a daily basis. Hang on. Hang on. So just in case y'all think I'd be lying about what my life looks like. So this is my day from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. So if y'all can see what my calendar looks like, the different colors belong to the different aspects in my life. So the purple belongs to family. The, the blue is my personal stuff outside of business. The green is business stuff. The peach is my daughter. The light blue is my son, which also is kind of for me, too, because I coach his baseball team. Uh, and so like this is. And then this uh, this down here at the bottom is where I, I schedule hangout time with my wife for an hour at the end of the night. So this is what my life looks like, y'all. If y'all wondering why I'm not sitting on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, just replying to y'all comments, it's because of this. I'm a real dude out here. I'm not just somebody out here flying on private jets. Y'all don't see me doing no crazy stuff. Well, all, all, all that often. I do go on vacation every now and then. But this is what my life looks like, y'all. This is real. So hopefully y'all respect that. <laughs> Let me see. What are the real? OK, Dave D got a question, man. What are the realistic expectations one should have when pursuing a service like this? That's an awesome question. So when you're dealing with DIY services, Dave, you are doing it yourself. What the platforms have been created to do is to remove the guesswork of what letters you send, when you send them. And also the, the necessity for you to have to create them yourself, right? So you having to download a template, you having to figure out which template to, to send, when to send it, how to fill it out. Those are the things that softwares like this are created to, to get by. So let me, let me go to the other screen here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Here we go. So this is Dispute Beast's homepage, okay? So these softwares are made to relieve you guys of the guesswork of credit repair, but it cannot relieve you of the burden of what comes along with credit repair, the waiting, right? The responding, the collecting of information. It cannot remove that. None of these softwares can remove that. We can educate you guys on that. We can meet with you outside of the software and kind of, you know, talk to you and educate you on that type of stuff. But the software is simply made to create the letters for you, to remove the burden of creating the letters. So you can expect to have to Download the letters once they're created, print them out, stuff the envelopes, stamp the envelopes, and send them however posted you decide to send them. And then the burden of waiting. What people don't seem to understand about credit repair is that no matter the software you use, I don't care if it's Dispute Beast or Credit Versio or Dovely or any of the other white labels of those diff different typical types of softwares, you are going to wait when it comes to credit repair. Most credit repair is going to take you a minimum of six months. You are not going to be absolved of that, nor should you be. You need to prove that the items on your credit report are not being reported accurately, fairly, completely, timely. You need to prove these things that they can't be verified. You have to prove them. These services are meant to help you do that. But there's no magic pill. There's no magic button for clearing or cleaning your credit. It doesn't exist that way. So hopefully that answered your questions. Uh, Yolanda Faye, do you recommend certified mail? So here's the deal about credit repair. Certified mail is always going to be the best way to go. 
But depending on how many accounts you're addressing and who you're addressing and who, who you're addressing them with and how often you're doing that, that can get extremely costly. So you guys wanted to pay $100 for a credit repair professional to do all the work for you, right? To create your letters, to send them and send them certified. You guys want people to do all that for you, but you don't understand at what cost, the cost of time, the actual monetary cost, the cost of supplies. All of these things matter. And so with DIY credit repair, where everybody's going, you are now on the hook for that burden. So if you want to repair your credit, you are going to find very, very few legitimate professional credit repair services that are not aiming to go the DIY route. So hopefully that answered that question. Would it be best to send a letter certified? I, I always like sending letters certified, but I charge for that. I charge a high monthly rate because I know I'm going to send your letter certified. But even with that being said, Professional credit repair services are finding out that the bureaus are rejecting even their letters now, because guess what? The bureaus are checking to see where those letters are coming from. So if you live in Texas and I'm your repair professional and I'm sending letters from California, they're going to look at that zip code and say, this person ain't sending these letters. They don't have any clue what's going on with their credit repair effort. Let's go ahead and hit them with a stall letter. And they're going to stall and stall and stall while you're paying me month after month after month after month. So even now with my full service, I'm going to create the letters for you and I'm going to give them to you to send them from wherever you live in at, so that we can actually get the process going. So everything is headed towards you guys doing your own credit repair. Does this service challenge all the negative items or does it target specific items? So what this service does, and this is Lorenzo, he's actually in one of my pro programs. Uh, the service targets everything that you're already targeting, Lorenzo. So just so you guys know, Dispute Beasts is using the same technology that I've used in some of my other uh, credit repair programs. The only difference with Dispute Beast is that Dispute Beast, the platform itself has been made user friendly. If I tried to give Lorenzo access to my actual service so he can create his own letters, it would make his head spin. So when I got with my developers to develop Dispute Beast, it was to use the technology for credit repair that I was already using, the AI technology, and make it to where everybody could actually use it by just clicking some clicking some, you know, check boxes or whatever. So Lorenzo, it's our whatever you're using with me right now, Lorenzo, is targeting the same exact things. It's just giving you the power to do it yourself instead of waiting for my staff to create your letters and send them to you on a monthly basis. You do it all on your own when you're ready. The letters download directly to your phone, directly to your laptop, directly to your computer, iPad, whatever. You print them, you mail them whenever you're ready. So hopefully that answered your questions. It, it will target all the negative items on your credit report. And not just with TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. It will it will target the ARS's, Clarity, CoreLogic, LexisNexis, Innovis. It goes after everything. Now, it's your choice to download and print and send all of those if you want to. You don't have to, but we give you the ability to do just that. Hopefully that answered your questions. What about the auxiliary credit bureaus? I think I just answered that question. So it, it will target those as well, dude. It, it targets those as well. We aimed for this to be a complete, comprehensive most advanced DIY service on the market. There is nothing that we missed. We literally took aim at everybody. We looked at all of the weaknesses in every other credit repair software. And we said, not nah, we're going to give you guys the highest level of service that you can possibly get. So hopefully that answers our question. Let me see if something is discharged in bankruptcy, can it pop back up on your credit report? Ron, that's, that's a credit question. We're talking about dispute beast right now i want to make sure that i dedicate because i got 30 minutes y'all saw my calendar i got 30 minutes i can give y'all and then i'm about to here and then i'll jump back on in a couple of days maybe monday or something like that and we can do this again uh let me see dave d got another question once the items are addressed and, and updated do we solidify any more obligations to the service i'm not sure what that question means dave can you can you re uh He said, man, full on Tetris. <laughs> Mass, I just saw Mass Kraken's uh, response to my calendar. Yeah, bro, it's legit out here. I'm not, I'm not BSing, bro. My static calendar is wild. Uh, but let's talk about some of the other services that we're competing with. Because a lot of people want to know why Dispute Beast, right? 
And there's an element of dispute beast that some people don't seem to understand. And that's the fact that we charge $49.99 for credit for uh for credit monitoring through Beast Credit Monitoring. Now we used to use Smart Credit with some of our other platforms. And we found that Smart Credit does not give you the most accurate credit reports in order to challenge the items on your credit file. So we made our own. We partnered with Array and we made our own to fit the specifications that we knew we wanted when creating letters, when the software is creating letters for you guys. Now, a lot of people are going to say that's expensive and it is expensive because I want to make some money flat out. I'm not charging you for the platform. You can do you can create unlimited amounts of letters on unlimited accounts as often as you want to, well, every single month, because you shouldn't be doing it sooner than that. But every single month, you can create as many letters as you want to, and they're completely customized. I don't think you guys understand the difference. There is a level of AI that we have achieved that no other platform, and I'm comfortable saying that, and they can test us if they want to. No other platform has achieved. So I charge more for the credit monitoring because I want to make some money while you guys are doing this this is a business i am a for-profit person so while you got other people out there charging 29 dollars or 39 dollars they're not offering you one tenth of what we're offering you and i'm gonna prove it let me see can you dispute medical debt when it ended up resulting in being disabled so you can do that you can dispute anything let me let me because you guys are kind of like picking picking apart what you can and can't dispute if it's a negative item on your credit report and it's reporting inaccurately, unfairly, incompletely, or can't be verified, no matter the reason or where it came from, no matter if it's a valid debt or not, you guys are confusing like morality with legality. Legally, the credit bureaus are obligated, no matter if you truly do owe the money or not, they are obligated obligated to report the items on your credit report in a way that fits a certain level of compliance. If they're not, it can go away. Does that make sense? Now, morally speaking, I don't like that. But the fact that it exists allows me to create a business based on that. As a smart person, that's what I did. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, when we get when we get the updates that we are looking for, are we still obligated to? Nah, man, it's month by month, bro. When you're done, you're done. Kill off the credit monitor and go on about your business and refer us to somebody else. It's just that simple. What about Sir, uh, Sir, Mister Jason? What about Credit Nine? I don't know what Credit Nine is, bro. You have to give me some more information on that. And what about it? Mass cracking. This is the reason why I wanted to do this live. For your reaction right there, the mind blown reaction. Yeah, bro. When I was creating this software and just by the way, I started creating this software in August of 2021. I realized that I, I didn't have every, everything in my brain, you know, that I needed to. So I went and got my boy, Mike, the credit guy. You guys probably know Mike Mesa, Mike, the credit guy. He's the biggest credit repair uh, uh, social social media guy in the game. Super brilliant dude. We got together, man, and we worked and we worked and we worked and we worked. And you're only you're, you're only going to see us marketing this. This is not a white label. This is literally our brains in a software and the software is trained to make whatever we put in there to make it better over time, better and better and better and better. And to this point, the software, the technology behind Dispute Beast has sent over three quarters of a million letters. Every letter it creates, it gets smarter. We actually have real AI in here. There are no template letters. There is less than a 0.04% chance that you're going to get the same verbiage of anybody who's ever created a letter on this software. No other DIY credit repair service can say the things that we can say about dispute piece. None. What are the questions do you guys have? Is credit dyno still a requirement for this service or is the service separate? It's so this is a separate service. We use uh we we had to separate from credit dyno because credit dyno belongs to the other services. So every single one of these services has to have its own dedicated credit monitoring service. So Beast Credit Monitoring, which uses the same technology as Credit Dyno, because Dispute Beast is using the same technology as my other as my other credit repair services. It's the same tech. Just a different company. Does that make sense, Lorenzo?
And Mr. Mason, I still haven't seen anything about what credit credit nine actually is. So I'm going to move on. So let's talk about some of Dispute Beast's, Dispute Beast's competitors. OK, I want to make sure that we hit on what's actually out there and what you guys are seeing in the social media verse. OK, so there's a couple of super prominent people who are pitching white labels of what's called Credit Versio. Now, Credit Versio was, I think, the first actual DIY software that came out. Let me go to their homepage. Let me see if I can get there. So this is what Credit Versio looks like when you go there. OK. Now, Credit Versio says they're the most powerful credit repair software ever created and that it's free. Well, we were trying that, too. It's free. But the reality is, is that there's no level of credit repair that you can do that doesn't cost you at least credit monitoring. Y'all see this? You're going to pay for credit monitoring. Now, they're giving you free use of the software, but you're going to pay for credit monitoring. And they're using smart credit. Now, smart credit has been known to be going through some things right now. They're being sued by Array, which is the credit monitoring service that I use for some other stuff. Y'all can Google that, but they're being sued. And I think they actually have to come up with a settlement. Let me see what smart credit got going on. Hang on. Let's back up. Smart credit sued by Array. What is this lawsuit? So Consumer Direct is the parent company for smart credit. So let me make sure I state that properly. And Mike, uh, Mike, the credit guy actually made a uh, made a video on this that was really, really good. So either way, smart credit, I don't feel like going through all that legal mumbo jumbo, but smart credit consumer direct is being sued by Array and actually got a judgment. Array got a judgment against smart credit uh, for whatever the case it was. But either way, we don't use smart credit anymore. We don't recommend smart credit. They're continuing to use smart credit, basic and premium. But as you can see here, you're going to pay twenty four ninety five for that twenty nine ninety five for a premium level of whatever it is. There is no free credit repair service. It does not exist. Unless you want to download your annual credit reports from annualcreditreport.com and manually create your letters yourself. If you're using some sort of software, they have partnered with somebody that works with their system. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes some sense. If if I'm making sense to you guys, can y'all drop me a like, a heart, whatever this thing is, so that we can get this thing pushed out to more people. I got 300,000 followers on Facebook and 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and we got 36 eyes on this live. That is abysmal. People need this information. So I'm spending my time with you guys offering this information out there so that you guys can actually utilize the best possible tools to get the results that you're looking for. Now, the issue with smart credit, while they're only charging you $29.95 a month, they don't dispute with any secondary bureaus. They don't dispute with LexisNexis. They don't dispute with Enovis, CoreLogic, ARS, Credco. They don't dispute with any of those. They don't go any level deeper than TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. And there's a limit on how many letters, how many accounts you can address every single month. So yeah, you're saving 20 bucks a month, but how much longer is it going to take you to repair your credit if you're not hitting every level of credit repair that we as professionals know is necessary? So what I like to do is call this a little bit of a cash grab because while you're paying them, they're extending you out month after month after month by not hitting every single channel that they need to hit in order for you to move forward with your life. Okay. Now let's talk about credit versio and you guys saw what I showed you how this looks, right? So let's talk about some of the most prominent credit repair names in the game that are pitching their software to you. Does that look similar? Now, I told y'all Dispute Beast is Dispute Beast, and that's all it's going to be. And we have not yet created any white labels for any other prominent social media, social media personnel. Dispute Beast is it. You see Mike talking about this, it's Dispute Beast. You see me talking about this, it's Dispute Beast. You see my other developers or partners talking about this, it's still Dispute Beast. What you have here is credit influencers saying that they have their own DIY credit repair software. But as you go through the process, you'll notice that it's all the same. 
it's all the same. Now, this looks a little bit different. They gave him a little bit something different, but you'll know it's Credit Versio because it's powered by Consumer Direct. It's just another white label, and he's charging you more than they're actually charging you on their own because he wants to make a little more money. $39.99 a month, challenging with TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, nothing more. Limited disputes every single month, so you're going to be there longer. This is what you guys are dealing with. And this is why when me and Mike started really working on this together, we knew that we had to release something completely different. We knew we had to release something that gave you the power, the control to do credit repair the way we would do it. There's not one single credit repair professional that you would hire and pay them their monthly fee that would just dispute with TransUnion, uh, uh, Equifax and Experian because they know that doesn't really work that well. You have to get the information off the secondary credit bureaus. You have to get the information off the third party credit reporting agencies. You have to. So why would they not give you the power to do so? It's because they're not creating the software. They're sellers, not creators. We made this. Dispute Beast is my brain, is Mike's brain in a software getting smarter. I'm not going to get no smarter. I'm doing what I'm doing no matter what. I'm not going to get any smarter, but the software will get better and better and better and better than I could ever be. Lorenzo, should your customers maintain their credit dyno subscriptions? So, Lorenzo, you're actually on my my done for you DIY service. And you're paying the same as Dispute Beast. You don't even have to go into an app, bro. You need to get up off this live because this this isn't for you. This is for people who no longer have access to that service. That service is closed. It's closed, bro. So if you were lucky enough to get into that DIY service where we create the letters for you, then I would keep that if I were you. But if you want to take on the burden of creating your own letters, even as good as Dispute Beast is, it'll never touch what Beast Pro was. But Beast Pro is dead. So if you want to move over to Dispute Beast, you need to cancel Credit Dino. Go over to Dispute Beast and do the sign up process over there and start your process with that, bro. Is that is that is that pretty clear? Let me see. I'm going to spread this information to both of my groups. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you getting getting uh, the information out. What about Lexington Law? Lexington Law got hella sued. I think they lost billions, actually. Let me see. Lexington Law. Lexington. Yeah, y'all can mess with Lexington Law if you want to, but they literally just got sued and, and them credit repair dot com two point seven billion dollar settlement with the CFPB. Y'all is scammers everywhere. Even the biggest names in the industry that y'all been paying for years and years and years been robbing y'all. I have never lied to you. Credit repair may not always be fast. It may not be simple. You may pay me for a year, but I never lied to you. You ain't never going to see my name on no scammer page. I've never once told you something that was inconsistent with what actually is. I've never offered you a service that was less than trying to keep as much much of your money as possible. Nope. What I do is I give you everything I have. Every single thing I have. And if it's not good enough for me, I go out and make it better. If there's an avenue for me to improve on it or offer you guys more power, I give it to you for as little as I possibly can. You don't see me out here fundraising and trying to get y'all to pay for something so I could bring something to market. I go create and I let you decide if it's good enough. Simple as that. So you can talk about Lexington all you want to, but uh, <laughs> you go, you're going to be one of the uh, one of the people filling out them forms trying to get your 30 cents for being robbed by them. And I can say all this stuff because I have it in writing. I don't have to lie on anybody. I can show you who's using Credit Versio. They can call me and be pissed at me if they want to for telling, but it'd be what it be. Same old thing here. And then we can go over to the other popular service, Dovely, that says that their service is free. Ain't this dope, y'all? They're giving you guys credit repair for free. 
But what do you get with that? You get a monthly TransUnion credit report. You get manual dispute selection with TransUnion. What does that entail? Let's go check it out. Let me see here. It doesn't have it there. Oh, and they also make a crazy claim. Let's go back to their front page. Let's skip that. Boost your credit score by 79 points. How do they know that? Every single one of y'all credit file is different. For me to look at you and put this in your face, boost your credit report by 79 points is absolutely categorically irresponsible. Now, they have a little number one right here and some super hyper fine print. So let's go find it. You know, they know y'all not going to find it, but I will. Average increase experience by a sample of 18,831 doubly premium AI members that have been enrolled for more than six months. They don't tell you that up top. You're going to be in this for six months. It is what it is. Why they don't just tell you that? Because they know you won't sign up. They know you won't go premium. So are you going to experience this if you use their free, their $0 a month program? Hell no. Because you know what comes with that? You know what comes with their free program? You get one dispute with one bureau, TransUnion, every month. So what happens with Experian and Equifax? Oh, yeah, we got something for that. Don't worry about it. Because you see, if you want to be able to dispute with all three bureaus, this is what it's going to cost you. And all you're going to get is all three bureaus and a limited amount of disputes. So let's see here. Unlimited AI powered disputes with all three credit bureaus added for free. <laughs> Does this look like free to you? I'm going to tell you the truth. You're going to pay $49 with me for credit monitor. You're going to pay $49 with me for credit monitor. It is what it is. And I ain't got no bones about it. I want to make a couple of bucks. Dovely's automated credit engine maximizes your results by submitting the optimal number of disputes each month based upon a combination of factors unique to your credit report. They decide what you need and who it needs to go to, but that revolves around TransUnion, Experian, Equifax. Once again, they're not addressing any of the secondary credit bureaus. They're not addressing any of the smaller main credit bureaus, LexisNexis, Innovus. They're not addressing the third-party credit reporting agencies. They're not addressing the creditors or collectors themselves. Dispute Beast, you're going to get all of that for $10 more than this. This is the reason why I laugh when people talk about, oh, your credit monitoring is too expensive. I don't mind paying for a Benz rather than a Honda because I know what a Benz, what the value of a Benz is. If I buy a 4,000 square foot house in Southern California, I know it's going to cost me more than a shack in the middle of nowhere. There are differences in prices for differences in value. There is literally nothing on the planet as far as credit repair goes that comes close to the value that we offer. Devly is trash. Sir, Mr. <laughs> Sir, Mr. Jason, Devly is trash. Vic, I'm at work. Will this live be online when I get home? More than likely, bro. I think I'm going to go ahead and post this. I think I'm going to let it post. I'm recording this. So I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and post this. So if I want to get started with you, what do I do? I think I left a pinned comment up top, but I may not have. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'll put it here now. Here. Just go to beastdiy.com. If you guys want to get started, go to beastdiy.com. That will take you to my platform for Dispute Beast. And the reason why I say my platform for Dispute Beast is Mike and I both run separate businesses. Although we form this business together, we run separate businesses. This uh, beastdiy.com will take you to my site for uh, Dispute Beast. The reason why we have separate sites is because we offer different levels of service outside of Dispute Beast. So when you sign up for mine, you're going to get different things than when you sign up for Mike's. We're both going to give you premium level service. We just have different ways of going about it. Hey, Jay, I'm new to this. Quick question with this. Can you guys hear me okay? Is my audio good? If you can hear me okay, please put a one in the chat. Because sometimes I'll be away from the microphone. Um, hey, Jay, I'm new to this. Quick question with Dispute Beast. Will it walk me through everything step by step? Or will I need to have? No, it does everything for you. Step one is going to tell you what to do. Step two is going to tell you what to do. Step three is going to tell you what to do. Then you're going to print your letters. Then it's going to tell you 
it, it prints you all of the information where to send the letters to. It gives you everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. And if you have any questions outside of Dispute Beast support, which Dispute Beast has its own dedicated support, I offer you my own dedicated support that I think is a little faster than Dispute Beast because Dispute Beast is going to have to deal with hundreds of thousands of customers. So I'm still giving you an extra level of support. Does that, that, that make sense? Thank you guys for putting the ones in the chat. Thank you. Thank you for exposing these companies. Is it really exposing? And thank you for the super chat. That's dope. Mr. Jason gave me two bucks. Thank you, bro. That's big. And I know you guys like I asked $2, but him making that move is kind of dope for me. That's really, really cool. I don't ask for super chats or, thing, or super thanks or things like that. Thank you for doing that, bro. That's cool. I'm not really exposing these companies, right? I'm just highlighting the differences. I don't want you guys to think that this is just another credit repair software. This is the game changer. This is the one that's going to bring the bureaus to their knees with your power, not with me, with you. And see, I had a done for you DIY service before that Lorenzo is involved in. And what I realize is that as I continue to grow, I'm going to have to hire more and more staff, more and more staff. You start to get thousands of people enrolled in these products. Next thing you know, your service starts to suffer. So we had to do something that would allow the service to stay the same while offering the exact same level of potent dispute letters and tactics that have been killing the game for years. We beat the game with this one, y'all. I'm really proud of this software, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Roy, Roy Baker, I appreciate it, bro. I need to cancel my smart credit and roll with you. I'm telling you, dog. I would love anybody to look at this live and I, I'm okay with putting this public because let's go. You want to jump in the ring with me? This is big, 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 big problems for everybody in the industry. Big problems. And there's even other softwares out there that do Metro 2. By the way, I didn't even tell you all that this software does Metro 2 attacks, which disputes based upon Metro 2 compliance. And it also does factual disputing, which disputes based upon the inaccurate information that you can see with your naked eye. It leaves no stone unturned. Devly does not dispute in Metro 2. Credit Versio does not dispute in Metro 2. They don't give you the flexibility to hit every angle. There is no weaknesses with Dispute Beast. Nothing left to do. Check the boxes, decide what you want to do each month, and then you make the call. If you're getting results, it's because of you, not me. If you're not getting results, it's because of you, not me. Either way, you have control. The goal of Dispute Beast is to give you back control. Well, let's take a look at this real quick. How to use Dispute Beast. Let's just rock with it. Can you guys see? Can you guys hear this? Can you guys hear this video? I'm going to let this walk you guys through so you can see how fast and easy it is to not only set up your Dispute Beast account, but to create your letter. So let's see what we got. If this is interesting to you guys to watch, let me know. If it's not, I'll turn this shit off. We can move on. I don't want to hide anything from y'all. I don't want to hide anything at all.
Wait, I just got a comment that there's no volume on the video. Can you guys not hear the volume on the video? I need to make sure you guys can hear the video. I may have to open up another browser. Hang on. Sometimes that happens. This tutorial is going to show you step by step. Can you hear this? Okay, Deborah said she could hear it. You want to go to get started for free and click any of the buttons that you see on your screen. You're going to come to a welcome screen that will look like this. If you already have, have an account, you'll just log in. If you do not have your free Dispute Peace account, you'll hit start. Once you're on the screen, you will put in your first, last name. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me pause this for a second. You guys are getting confused. Uh, can you guys hear the video? Not me. I'm going to shut up. I need to make sure you guys can hear the video. Once I'm playing the video, can you please put a two in the chat if you can hear the video? address and a password to create your speed piece account. The name you put in here should be the same name that you have on your identification documentation. So we have some sample credentials here. You want to put your actual email address because this is where your letters will be emailed to you. Date of birth, last four digits of your SSN, the address, city, and state that matches your identification documentation. So this should match the same address that you have on your driver's license, your zip code, and your phone number. Keep in mind, the information you put here will be on your letters. You have to be at least 18 years old. Jason, something might be wrong with your speakers or something might be wrong with your situation, bro, because everybody else seems to be able to hear the video, my G. You have to agree to the service agreement in this you will put your first and last name here. There is no contract. It's month to month, guys. On the screen, you have to connect your beast credit monitoring credit report. This will allow the dispute beast to review all the items in your credit report and provide you your customized dispute letters. So if you already have a beast credit monitoring account, you will hit yes. If you do not have a beast credit monitoring account, you hit no, I do not have an account. You will be redirected here, and all your information that you just put on your Dispute B screen will be filled out. It is $49.99 to obtain Beast Credit Monitoring. You will continue. You will put in your full Social Security number. You will put in your date of birth. You will put in your username and password. It is advisable that you use the same username and password that you just created for your Dispute Beast account. Once you fill out this information, continue moving forward your Beast Credit Monitoring account will be created and you will be redirected back to the website here where you'll be able to add in your credentials. So your credentials that you set up for Beast Credit Monitoring will be here. Just confirm that the email address and the password that you set up for your Beast Credit Monitoring are correct. For this example sake, we'll put in some credentials here. When you put in your correct username and password for Beast Credit Monitoring, it will start to pull in your report inside of the Dispute Beast. So now it is retrieving your report, so everything can be created. It's you automatic. Like this here, automatic. You have to hit Get Started. If you're on a mobile view, it will be slightly different. When you hit Get Started here. When you're on this screen here, it will ask you for your identification information. So the items that you want to include here will be this here. We recommend that you use a driver's license with your proof of identification and then make sure that the name and address match to your account. And it's not expired. You want nothing to be less than 90 days old. When you get I want to pause the video right here, guys. We're not going to leave you to do any guesswork. The whole point of this was to make sure we remove it. We make it dummy proof and not that y'all are dummies, but you understand what I'm saying. We make this as simple as possible. You need proof of ID. Here's what they'll take. You need proof of address. Here's what they'll take. You don't have it. Shoot over your social security card. Now we don't want that, but Hey, at, at, if we need to at the bottom, we'll do whatever we can. Right? So you guys have to understand this. 
we are walking you through the process of doing this yourself, but with the help and tutelage of a professional. It's your proof of address screen. You're going to put in our utility bill, such as a gas bill, water bill, cable, residential bill, or cell phone bill, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then on the other, the optional screen, you want to include our SSN. If you're on mobile, of course, you can take a picture with your phone and upload these items. If you're on a desktop, you can just upload them from your save files on your desktop. So we're going to hit tap to upload here. And then this screen should open up. And we're going to put in our driver's license. And you want to make sure things are propped in. But keep in mind, these are sample documents. In your situation, these should be your real documents. You hit save. And then you hit continue. Your proof of address, you can use your cell phone bill, your driver's license, a pay stub, a W-2 form, a 1099 form, a rental lease agreement, a mortgage statement, a bank statement. Yolanda, we only ask that. Yolanda, I will answer your question after the video is done. It matches the same thing that you have from your driver's license and the same address that you have from your driver's license as well. And everything matches the same name and address that you just put on your account. So in this instance, you're going to hit tap to upload, and we're going to have our residential bill here. Now, keep in mind, your cell phone bill, it might be a large PDF like this. You do not need the entire PDF. You only, you should crop it down to where it's your name and your address that is shown. And then hit save. The system will automatically crop for you as well. You go to continue. Now, here's your additional documentation, which is optional. Here, we highly recommend that you use your social security number here. If you already used it in another area, you can use a pay stub, a W-2 form, but if you use driver's license, the cell phone bill or utility bill, a SSN would be great. Keep in mind the name should match as well. We will do our SSN here, you hit save. Next step is to continue. And now you're on the screen here, it's gonna say all the documents were uploaded and stored successfully. It will redirect you if you don't hit get started within 10 seconds, but you can just hit the get started button. Now, if you're on a desktop, you will come in and your screen will look like this. If you're on mobile, it will be shrank down just a little bit. A few things you can do here, but your next step will just hit this blue button in the middle and says start attack. So the AI will go through and highlight all the negative items. You have inquiries down here as well that you can select. It does not allow you to challenge any positive items, which may hurt your score. But also, if you want to select an inquiry, once you hit the item here, it will pop up with a warning. You have a warning sign for each inquiry as well. Keep in mind that this is a sample credit report. Your credit report will include- The reason why we did this, guys, is because even in professional credit repair, when addressing inquiries, even professionals make the mistake of disputing inquiries that belong to open accounts. If we make the mistake, we know you're going to make the mistake. So we made it intuitive in the software that if you want to address inquiries that we tell you every single time, please make sure that this is not attached to an open account. And we give you the reasons why. We do all the thinking for you. Good items on, possibly on Equifax, Asperia, and TransUnion. But when you hit the start attack button, the system will now analyze your report and generate your customized dispute letters based on um, what's on your profile. And it will generate letters for Equifax, Asperia, TransUnion, the data furnishers, and the secondary bureaus. So you have the ability to perform credit repair at the highest level. Attack one is always a personal information attack, so it's challenging the names and addresses on your profile to make sure they're valid. Attack two will be your accounts. All, any derogatory or negative accounts, attack three will be inquiries associated with the profile. And attack four, if you do have them, will be public records such as bankruptcies. Going down here, we have our credit letter here that we're challenging, and then you have your secondary bureaus that you have down here. Now, you can download all your letters and you will receive a zip file. You hit download. I'm just going to open this up here. So this will go to a folder. And you will see all the letters that we have specified there, as well as a envelope to show you how to fill out your actual letters so you can send them in the mail. When you hit done, your letters will be emailed to you. Those Oh, okay. sorry about that, guys. Hold on, guys. Did you guys see that? We get we create the, the envelope template for you so you know exactly what information and where it belongs on the envelope. So there's no mistakenly sending information to the wrong place. There's nothing for you to do. 
all you got to do was copy. Several challenges, and then you have your secondary girls that you have down here. Now, you can download all your letters, and you will receive a zip file. When you hit download. I'm just going to open this up here. Sorry, guys, I went back a little bit. So this will go to a folder, and you will see all the letters that we have specified there, as well as a envelope to show you how to fill out the actual letters so you can send them in the mail. When you hit done, your letters will be emailed to you. Go to my tax area, and you have to specify that you've mailed out the letters. So if you mail them out today, you would say that I mailed out these letters, and you would specify today's date. If you plan on mailing them out tomorrow, you can specify tomorrow. The reason why this is important is that the system will specify in 40 days to notify you to come in and reimport your code report and send out your next round of attack based off the AI. Gorgeous. So say you mail your letters today. You can also send yourself a copy. You can download them all here too. You can also look at your letter history and download each letter individually if you would like. But once you specify that you've mailed out your letters, the system will mark it as mailed. And then your attack tracker will update in 40 days to when you should come back again. That is it. That is the complete system. Now some other areas which you can analyze, you can go to your account area. And this where you can upload additional proof of ID, proof of address. You can also refer a friend so they can have their professional credit repair done for them as well. In your settings area, you can change your name, you can change your address, your phone number by hitting this pencil icon. In order to change your email, you will need to send an email to help at disputepeace.com. You can flag notifications so the system can notify you via email, SMS, or web notifications of your next when your next attack is due. You can update your credit monitoring credentials or re-import your credit report. But if you want to change your monitoring credentials, you will put there and then update your username and password. You have a support section which has some frequently asked questions. If you need additional help, you can come in here and specify what you need as far as help. So for example, if you have issues as far as mailing, you go to next and you will type in your query and it will go to the support desk at help at dispute.com. There's legal, which covers the term of service and a privacy policy. Thank you. Y'all, I just want to tell you guys something. When I go away for a little while and I'm quiet, my page is quiet. That means I'm in the lab. And when I come out the lab, it's never normal. This is not normal. The bureaus, the banking system, this is a nightmare for them. You guys having this type of power and ability is an abject disaster for the banking system. Once you are no longer an expensive money making part of society for them, things have to change. For me, this wasn't just about helping you guys address your credit reports. This was about changing the entire industry of credit. How it's utilized, how it's profited from, who's victimized by it. This is different, y'all. Now, I told you guys a whole bunch of stuff earlier in the video, and I don't have to sell this to you because it's going to sell itself. But the reality of it is, is you guys are my community and you guys deserve it first. I want to make sure I answer any questions that you guys may have from what you just saw. As you can see, without all the descriptive stuff that you know we put into the video, just so you guys can see why we're doing what we're doing. If you were just to sign up and go through it on your own, you'd be done in two minutes. Not to sign up for the service, but to sign up and get your letters created. You'd be done in two, three minutes. If this is not something you can utilize to repair your credit, just forget about it. It doesn't get better than this. And even software that's out there that will Metro that will dispute in Metro too. They're just simply utilizing you as a multi-level marketing scheme. You have M2 Phenom, which uses Prodigy, which is an old kind of dinosaur dispute service, but they use Metro two letters. You go to the, their pricing page and the very first thing you're going to see is they're going to charge you 147 a month just to get into the platform. This doesn't even you haven't even gotten credit monitoring yet. You still got to get credit monitoring every month, which they're going to charge you another. What is it? 30 bucks a month. What is their credit? Twenty nine ninety. They're going to charge you another twenty nine ninety. And all of this 
just so they can sell you. Just so they can sell you something else. He running the same thing as this other dude is running. It's all using Prodigy just so they can run you to a group that you can pay for a course for. No one's going to give it to you for free like we are. Have your credit monitoring and move on. No one's going to do this like we are. At this particular point, guys, I want to open up the floor, answer any questions that you guys have. I know we got 34 people in here. You guys have given me some likes, some love. I appreciate all of y'all, man. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. I told you I was going to give you all 50, uh, 30 minutes. We an hour in. My wife is texting me what she wants to do for lunch. I promise her I'll take her to lunch before she went to work. You guys are important to me. I want to make sure I answer any questions. So let's go back and thank you, Inflow, for the $5 super chat, bro. I don't know what you own today, man, but I appreciate your love, guys. Thank you so much. Um, from Yolanda, what is the difference between dispute and repair? I'm new to this. Okay, so Yolanda, disputing is a part of credit repair, okay? People have coined the term credit repair because your credit is injured or damaged. And to get it back to usable condition, it needs to be repaired. But the, a part of the repair process is creating disputes that go to the credit bureaus. Disputes are disagreements that you have with what's on your credit report. I dispute this account because that's what a dispute is. So a dispute is, uh, is essentially a letter that you create that is telling the credit bureaus why you want the information on your credit file changed. Disputes are a part of the repair process. So repair is the overall umbrella. Disputing is what's underneath it in order to get the repair taken care of. Hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, let's see here. And I'm glad you guys were able to hear the video. Uh, Mast Kraken. I'm relatively new to credit repair and have been using Kickoff. Uh, I'm curious about your overall opinion of their services. And also, are they considered a white label, as you've mentioned? So Kickoff is not a repair service. Kickoff is a credit um enhancer so kickoff is essentially an account that you would add to your credit file you'll sign up for kickoff you'll pay their fee they'll add their credit line to your credit file and if you have a clean credit file it will help boost your score it should if you have a clean credit file and limited credit i should say let me make sure i say all the right things it should help boost your credit score however adding kickoff or trade lines or any of those things like that to a credit file that has a whole bunch of negatives on it won't do anything but take more money out of your pocket. So you got to look at your situation and see if you are even in the right place to utilize a credit enhancer, a credit file enhancer like kickoff. More than likely, if you're in line for credit repair, probably not. Let me see here. Yeah, I seen that and it was super expensive for the Metro too. I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, M2 Phenom, M2 GOAT, all the M2s that are out there utilizing Prodigy's technology. Uh, Yeah, man. They're going to hit you all over the head before you even get a credit letter out. They're going to hit you over the head for a couple hundred dollars before you even get one letter produced. One day y'all going to realize I'm the real deal. One day y'all going to realize that I'm not the scammer. One day y'all going to realize that everything else out there pales in comparison to whatever it is that I'm going to bring to you. Do I promise you that mine is going to work immediately? No. Do I promise you that you're going to get the results that you're looking for? Absolutely not. But do I promise you that I'm going to give you the best chance? I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. No problem, Mass Kraken. Are you still doing one-on-one -on -one uh, counseling? I do that for a fee, bro. I showed my <laughs> I showed my uh my uh my calendar to everybody who was on the live earlier, bro. I simply do not have the time to dedicate for free to anybody and everybody who just wants to jump on my calendar. First of all, y'all don't be showing up. So when I charge you, you show up. Uh, second of all, <laughs> I just don't have the time. If even if I wanted to give you guys the time to answer all your questions, I just don't have it. So uh, yeah, for free, I do that. If you want the uh the link, I'll I'll get that to you. Uh. Much love, man. Sorry to take time from the fan. Oh, it's all good, man. I appreciate you, fam. I appreciate you guys. I jumped on this live hoping to educate you guys and bring some bring some information to the forefront. And hopefully I've done that in this live, you guys. I mean, if I have, then I succeeded. Uh, let me see here. I have three collection accounts due to 
come off my credit report April 2025? Will, be, will this be right for me? I mean, it can't really hurt. If it came off sooner, would it help? <laughs> so, I mean, that that answer that answer relies on, on, on you, man. And was it worth to you? Uh, if it's worth $50 a month for the credit monitoring for you to go ahead and do that and give it a shot, then maybe it's worth it, man. I can't tell you that. I ain't going to sell you on it. Uh, let me see here. You're welcome, Teresa. Let me see, Mass. No problem, bro. You're welcome. I thought I saw a comment from Ryan. Okay, on the road right now, but I trust you. Hopefully, I sign up this week. Ryan, we've we've worked before. We worked together before in the past, bro. I told you if you needed me again, man, I'll always be here for you. And every time you come back, I got something that's better, bro. I'm only gonna keep improving. Then this ain't it. We're gonna keep improving on this technology too. It ain't over. And it ain't going to be at your expense. The cost is not going to go up. I'm not going to ask y'all for no money. I ain't going to do no weirdo ass pay for a group. I ain't going to sell you no courses. I'm going to just give it to you raw. This is as raw and real as it gets. No barriers for entry. Get your credit monitoring. Everything else you can have. Simple. Year of the M2 Phenom. Let me see. Arming yourself with the right information helps. Absolutely, mass cracking. Absolutely. Is it possible to have letters sent out for us if we pay for the service? So, Amy, I had that in my done for you credit repair program. And I noticed that when I'm sending the letters on your behalf, you tend to get a lot more stall letters. When you get stall letters, it lengthens the process of credit repair exponentially. So, I... I we're, we are instituting an option for you guys to be able to utilize a mail for you service. We are actually creating a mail center in Texas, a massive mail center in Texas, because we know we're going to have hundreds of thousands of people that want us to do it for them. We're creating a massive mail center in Texas. It should be done in a couple of a couple of months or so. We will give you guys the ability to do that because we don't want to take anything off the table from you. But I want you to know what happens when we send them versus when you send them. When you send them, there's a lot less stall tactics that are utilized because when it comes from you it's obvious ryan i'm still here for you big dog i ain't going nowhere bro i told you that a couple years ago man i'm still here i ain't going nowhere the feds ain't rated me like they're like they're rating your favorite your favorite credit repair guys on, on instagram they ain't rating me <laughs> uh let's see here raw dog and i love it hey bro i ain't i don't hold nothing back uh please send the link you guys do you guys want the link to 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 go to uh dispute beast i'll give you guys a link real quick let me see i wasn't i wasn't coming on here to say y'all no bullshit i just wanted to educate you guys and talk about what's what's out there but uh if you want it here it is let me see thoughts on sofi as a way to manage credit i love sofi uh i'm a big fan of fintech companies and sofi is probably one of the most stable ones so SoFi definitely has been able to help people manage their credit, enhance their credit. Once again, it's going to be limited as to what your file looks like right now. Adding something to a broken situation is not going to help. It's just going to waste your time. It's going to waste your money. So you do with it what you will. Uh, I don't like having people add a whole bunch of stuff to a jacked up credit file because it doesn't do a whole lot. But it's up to you. Let's see here. Answer a couple of more questions and then I'm going to get out here and go get some food because I'm a big dude and I'm hungry. And by the way, guys, I know a lot of people jumped on this live and y'all hung out with me for quite a bit and I appreciate you guys. Should I do this a couple of times a week just so you guys can have some refreshers? You might you might have some more questions. Should I dedicate 30 for real minutes, not another hour and 10 minutes, 30 for real minutes to get you guys some dispute beast information, answer some dispute beast questions that I can do. If you guys want that, I'll put this on the schedule and we can rock with this on maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or maybe Monday and Wednesday or something like that. We could rock with this like this. Was this helpful for you guys? For you guys that are still in here, if you could put in the chat, put a five in the chat. If this was helpful for you, you guys, if it was educational, if it taught you something about the DIY credit repair industry, as well as the professional credit repair industry, if I helped you at all, can you please just put a five in the chat? 30 for real minutes. <laughs> hey, 30 for real minutes is real for me, y'all. I, I can't I can't be doing this hour stuff no more. 30 for real minutes. I appreciate y'all, man. 
I appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys want to go to my page, I'll go ahead and post a, a dispute beast post just in case the link wasn't clickable or just in case y'all didn't see it for whatever reason. And make sure you guys turn on your notifications for me, guys. Turn on your Facebook notifications. Turn on your YouTube notifications because they don't, as you can see, they don't put the information out. All right. If you guys want the information to continue to spread, if you want this platform to continue to get better, hit turn on the notifications. All right. Other than that, I love the hell out of y'all. I hope I impressed you guys today. I, I re-impressed myself. I ain't gonna lie to you. Watching this all over again, I re-impressed myself. Talking about this, I know this is gonna change the whole game. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm out of here.